Today, we're excited to welcome someone who proves that making small, innovative changes can make a huge impact. Shay Riley joins us to talk about founding SIP, her part in saving the environment, and what we can all do to help. This is School of Hustle, the show where we find advice and inspiration from people who are making their own way. I'm Shannon, the VP of Social here at GoDaddy, and I live and breathe the hustle of business. Today, we're filming from the hustle of it all at the WeWork Times Square in New York City. Okay, everybody, let's give Shay a big warm welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for being here. <laughs> I, it's so exciting to talk to you today. You are the founder of SIP, yes. an alternative to plastic and paper straws. Yes. I Tell know. us about your product. Yeah, so um, at SIP we have um, glass sustainable reusable straws and um, the reason that I really wanted to focus on glass is because the al other alternatives I wasn't really into, paper, um, plastic obviously, and metal specifically, um, just the way it changes the, the taste of your drink and all of that. Um, so yeah, we came up with this like way to do glass straws um, and we have the regular size and the cocktail size so that you it's really versatile and you can um, enjoy all of your drinks and, and um, without having the dissolving straw or the, you know, plastic. Um, so yeah, that's that's where sip, what SIP is around. And is it is it clear? Is it colorful? What, what does it look like? Yeah, so it's um, it's clear. I actually have seen her too. Yeah. Um, but it's clear See. glass um, and we have a black logo. The other side's um, open too. Okay. So that's easier. Um, Fabulous. Uh, black logo, white logo, and um, yeah, there's room for growth and oh. everything too. But so yeah. it's it's clear glass yep. with a logo. I like this too because I feel like plastic straws that get too colorful and opaque, you can't see how clean they are. Right. And then I feel weird using it because I don't want to make myself sick. Right. And so I feel like a nice clean glass straw is the way to go. Totally, and that's kind of what my thing against metal straws was, um, was that you can't see if they're clean or not, yeah. and, and I didn't like that. that was, yeah. um, so, so like the glass, you know for sure. Um, we have like the brushes that go with it that are also plastic free. So yeah, just keep it on that, on oh. that room. Oh, How easy do they break? How to drop this? Am I out of luck? No, you're not out of luck. Um, so it's the strongest commercially available glass. Um, it's borosilicate. So it's the it's the same glass NASA actually uses in a lot of their um, products um, because it it's just so it's so strong. Um, so obviously things in space are going to be a little bit stronger than they are here, but. Um, here, I mean, I have people like tell me all the time, I dropped it in, on the kitchen floor and my heart stopped and, and I was just waiting for it and it just, it bounced back up and it was fine. And, um, and so I, I always like love to hear those stories about people like really understanding that they're not going to break um, and that they are really durable. So yeah. <laughs> Why was it important to you to start your business? Totally. Um, I think, like, obviously, the the whole movement around not using plastic straws um, is is really big right now. And and I started to think on it and um, think about how we can make a little bit more of an impact um, in in these small changes that large groups do. And I I love that we're all moving toward using paper straws and, and alternatives and stuff. But at the same time, um, like I said, the paper straws are very, like, they dissolve, they're not, they don't, they kind of like deteriorate the quality of the drink that you're having. Um, so it was just really important to me to have a different alternative that um, almost enhanced the drink experience, um, if you will. <laughs> and you started your business with your sister. Yes. And I always think that's interesting when people who know each other very well, <laughs> very close, work together in business. Yes. How do you each define your roles at the company? So since it's a startup, it's very, um, you know, touch and go as is. Like we're still learning a lot and, and, and figuring out what the day-to-day -day looks like. So um, it's really just we tackle what needs to be tackled when it needs to be tackled. So um, if there's something that I need her perspective on or her help with, um, she's there for that. And likewise, um, if she needs something for me to create or, or ideas, then um, then I'll handle that stuff. And it's really nice to have a, a separate perspective um, when I'm kind of like focused so much on the nitty gritty of things. And she's a, a fresh, clear perspective that kind of you know reignites the excitement behind wanting to do something like that. Um, so that, it's been really cool to have her as a soundboard and and grow this together. Is she a big sister, or a little sister. She's my little sister. Yes. <laughs> well. SIP has a very important charitable component to it. It does. Tell me about your work with Oceana. Yes, so every purchase, um, we donate 10% of that to Oceana. Um, our first one is actually coming up at the end of the month. Um, so we're really excited about it and it kind of puts it into perspective about how new we are as a company and um, and so we're going to do quarterly donations and yeah, it's just, we really wanted to 
to take what we're doing and just go a step further and, and further um, be able to you know make an impact in whatever way we can um, and so if that's you know donating some of our our sales and revenue to um, a, a greater cause then that's that was our a huge focus for us and like you've covered, there are a lot of straws out there and yeah. alternatives, right? Totally. So how do you go about standing out in the marketplace and educating people as to what SIP is all about and, and right. ensuring that they buy your product and not some of the others out there? Absolutely. So I think um, people love to have alternatives and, and um, the more that there are, you know, the healthier your decision making process is if you can really have a say in, you know, I love that we're moving away from plastic and we have paper, but I don't love paper and I don't love map. And, and so there's really something for everybody out there. And, and um, people are all different, obviously, and so everyone's going to have their preference. But to just kind of get on board with that idea that there is this like nice feeling, like tasting alternative, um, is is really something that I think that people who use sip notice off the bat and kind of are like, okay, this is the the way that I want to have my drinks. Yeah, word of mouth and reviews are very important. Absolutely, right? Absolutely. Um, so, how do you and your sister think about expanding sip? Yeah, so um, I think there's a lot we can do with it just in the idea of accessories and, and making sure that we're coming out with a travel component case. Um, so, you know, like, yeah, that's a huge thing that's for people. Huge. Yeah, because yeah, a lot of people want to take it on the road. Right. Right. And right. enjoy beverages out in the car, at work, at their desk, right. and just kind of be on the go. Exactly. Yeah. So that's the next, our, our focus right now. And yeah. those should be coming out within the next, like, month or so. So I'm really excited about that to kind of, like, be able to say, okay, now you can take it out with you. Is it like um, a zip pouch? Is it a canister? It's going to be like a canister, like a, yeah. tu a tube, yeah. essentially. Um, and so just so that you're able to, you know, like, throw it in your purse when exactly. you go out or your backpack and not feel like you have to worry about it. Um, honestly, mine's always in my backpack anyway, and I've never had any problems with it, but um, this will just give people the, the peace of mind that they don't have to worry about that. And, and so how do you think about producing your product? When you when you go and work with your manufacturers or your teams, sure. um, how do you think about like actually making sure that the product itself is great? Because right. there is word of mouth and all that, but if the product isn't as it should be, right. people won't review it favorably. Right, totally. right? So how do you how do you actually make it? Right. So I work with this um, little family owned company that specializes in high quality um, glass products. So I I had a very long the first thing I did was reach out to every uh, production like manufacturer that I could I could find and had really like in-depth conversations with them about their process and what goes into their straws and and you know all of that stuff like I wanted to make sure that the from everything from the shipping um, was was we were being as eco-friendly as possible so I worked out fulfillment with him so it doesn't have to come to me to go then back out so there's just lots of little things that were really important to me to focus on for manufacturing um, and so that's kind of that was like one of the biggest highlights, I think, for that process, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> and do you think about doing SIP full time? Are you doing it full time? Um, so I'm doing it full time, and then I also do a lot of like marketing work on the side. Um, so I'm kind of it's it's been really it's been a really cool time for me to be able to take a couple steps back and just like focus on something I really am truly passionate about and really care about. Um, and, and at the same time, like it's awesome to be able to make your own schedule and and and, and really focus. And so like if I'm having a night where I'm I'm really in the, like in the zone and I want to work till 11 like that's you know awesome one two whatever the whatever the case may be um, so it's just it's been really a rewarding process um, throughout the entire thing yeah. um, and what will success look like for you um, I think success first and foremost is definitely being happy with what you're doing um, I think that we see people who are quote-unquote successful all the time and I wouldn't measure my definition of success against that um, and I think that you know making sure that you have a work-life balance is, is something that's really important so I think that if there was if there's a situation where you know you feel like you're being fulfilled both personally and professionally I think that that's how I would probably define success well we really appreciate you sharing all of that with us yes, and I love you. what you're doing and the charitable components amazing thank the impact so is enormous thank you um, I do want to switch gears and play my favorite game called Hustle Time. Would you rather never be able to teach or never be able to learn? Never be able to teach. Fictional place you'd like to visit? Hogwarts. Early bird or night owl? Uh, night owl. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Favorite part of your day? The night. Ski trip or beach vacation? Beach vacation. First place you visit when you retire? Uh, summer warm. Number one guilty pleasure? Um, ice cream. One word you wish you could take away from the English language? Ooh, <laughs> uh, Hate. Boozy brunch or morning workout? 
<laughs> Boozy brunch. Beer or wine? Wine. Favorite part of a s'more? Chocolate. Top quality you look for in an employee? Um, ability to learn. Instagram or Twitter? Instagram. Favorite holiday? Christmas. Worst trend you've ever participated in? <laughs> um, bell bottoms. New York or London? <laughs> um, New York. Ideal fake sick day? Uh, beach trip. Would you rather visit Licorice Castle or Peppermint Forest? Peppermint Forest. M&M's or Skittles? M&M's. Number of times it took you to pass your driver's test? One. Last person you texted? Alyssa. Camping or glamping? <laughs> Camping or glamping? Glamping. All right. <laughs> Are, are you ready to see? Yes, I'm ready okay, to we're see. Okay, we're gonna count it off. We have one, 21, 22, 23. <laughs> I think this is a tie for first place. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite part of your day? Um, unwinding with dinner at night. Best piece of advice you've ever gotten? Um, to continue to just follow your gut and, and stick with it. Worst piece of advice? to remain complacent and that not we don't need to change anything or the status quo is, is the final word. How do you use your career to inspire others? Um, I think just by communication and talking and, and building ideas and, and those communicative bridges. Ever felt like walking away? No. One thing you still need to learn? Um, probably how to, I think all of us just to not worry so much about other people and their thought process of you or, or what you're doing. Um, it's something I always actively want to get better at. What do you want people to learn from you? Um, that, you know, there's no set path that you need to follow and that you're going to change your mind a million times about things and to just kind of stick with your gut and, and do what feels right in the moment for you. What's next for you? To continue with SIP and, and continue to grow this and figure out like how what I'm super passionate about um, and just continue to go down that path. Who inspires you? Um, my family and my friends are such an insane support team um, and, and such a huge inspiration to me on, on every single day. So Who challenges you? Um, my family and my friends um, mm -hmm. also challenge me to, to be better and to, to grow and to continue to just challenge the status quo and, and what mm -hmm. I'm doing. Well, this next question comes from our favorite entrepreneur, <laughs> and uh, Noodle needs some advice, Shay. Okay. Okay. Hey. <laughs> I'm sure, it comes as no surprise that Noodle cares deeply about the environment, <laughs> and he feels compelled to live a more sustainable lifestyle. But he's not quite sure where to start. What are some practical changes that Noodle can make right now to start making impact? Sure. I think that um, single use plastic and, and stuff like that that we that we're also frequently around um, is something that we can all do to cut down our waste and it's something super easy and, and very quick and I think that um, SIP's whole thing is that we can make a huge impact with these this little really little change um, if we all do it in in a group together and, and that's something that I, I would start with for and, and I think Noodle might be able to use maybe the cocktail size yes, in his doggy bowl, right? <laughs> definitely. That, could, that might work. Yes, that's a whole new product right. line. Well, as we close, we always like to leave with a final thought. Yes. And so I'm going to share three quotes with you and ask for you to listen and tell me which one resonates the most with you and why. Oh. Okay? Number one, the starting point of all achievement is desire. Number two, success is the sum of small efforts repeated day in and day out. Number three, it's not what you look at that matters, it's what you see. Absolutely, so I think I'm gonna go with number two, um, given what we're working on especially, but um, just in, in and of itself, that this, again, these little changes that we make can, can really leave a huge impact. And I mean, even the negative impact that plastic straws have made, that's such a little thing that really made a huge, put a huge problem on our plates. Um, and so this kind of is the same thing that we can undo or hopefully make a dent in undoing um, the damage that's been done already. But <laughs> Thank you for being here. Thank you for out. having me. Absolutely. Did this is awesome. I had such a blast. <laughs> this is so cool. Uh, I want everybody watching to understand how they can get their hands on one of your SIP straws. Sure, yeah. Tell um, us. So we sell online um, at www.sipstraws.co and our Instagram is sip.straws. Um, my personal is Shea Rose Riley, and yeah, that's where you can find us. <laughs> I know everybody will be uh, thinking about this. This is an awesome product. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate that. You're welcome. Thank you. And, and I know that everyone enjoyed your inspiration and advice today, so I do want to remind everybody watching, 
that we are bringing fabulous entrepreneurs every week to you on School of Hustle. So if you follow GoDaddy across all social, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, there is more advice and inspiration to be had every week. So follow GoDaddy, tune in again, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Yeah.